YouTube. So today I'm doing yet another book review. I'm super excited to talk about this book by Ben Dolnick, The Ghost Notebooks. I loved this cover because it reminded me of like the 60s mod type of stuff, 60s or 70s. It was really, really an amazing cover. I really liked it. And this is actually, once in a blue moon, I will be reviewing books that we read in one of my book clubs that I am a part of. I am part of a book club called Bellatrist, and it's really cool. And sometimes we do have spooky fun books that I think some of my darkly inclined and gothy people will enjoy. And then other times I will be just showing off books that I read in my spare time as well as other different types of literature. So first and foremost, this book is freaking awesome. It's a spooky story. It's kind of like a spooky ghost story. If you like like spiritual stuff, um, but you don't want like a jump scare. Like this is definitely not a book for somebody who wants like tons and tons of gore and jump scares. This is more of a subtle, creepy um, ghost story. It follows the main characters, Nick and Hannah. Nick, Baron, and Hannah Ramp, they basically decide to move from their New York City uh, um, place to a tiny little upstate town called Hibernia, H-I-B-E-R-N-I-A. And basically Hannah, ramp she takes the, a job as um, a person who runs a historic museum called the Wright Museum and basically what happens is there's all these kind of like creepy notes and different things about this guy who was back in the back in the day in the 19th century he um, was in the museum with his wife and some creepy stuff happened to him and his wife and just different people and so it's called the ghost notebooks because it follows kind of like the pages and notebooks of this man. And so basically what happens is Hannah, Nick's wife, goes missing and a lot of spooky stuff happens up to her going missing and a lot of spooky stuff happens afterwards. And I'm not going to tell you what happens, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but there's a lot of like ghosty stuff and scary stuff and possession and fun stuff and I think, I think you guys would really like this because um, he wrote it really beautifully. It's For me, it was really easy to read and I liked it because there was just like, I really kind of, um, I felt like I really, really connected with the main character a lot. And I just liked how he, what he, he, it sounded, when I was reading it, it sounded like somebody that was actually like talking to me, like someone who wasn't ha like using perfect language, somebody who was just like having a hard time in the hard times. and when he was having a good time. He, it was just like like reading something that would be a notebook or notes of somebody reminiscing about uh, moving into this scary historic museum. And it's really cool. And what makes it extra spooky, um, yeah, it seems like he could be somebody that I would hang out with or a friend. He was really cool, the main character, Nick. What makes it really, really spooky is that there's not a lot of visitors to the museum. So it, so they notice that and it's kind of, and at first when they move in, everything's all like hunky dory and like, you know, it's like the calm before the storm and they speak in like fun um, master masterpiece theater accents and have fun, you know, with the swimming hole outside and like the little garden or whatever. And they find all the fun stuff in the notebooks of this guy. And so it's really, really freaky. And it starts to get weird because Hannah starts hearing like whispering in the night and hearing just like weird stuff and weird shit starts happening. Her personality starts to kind of change. And it's really, it's really, really freaky. And I like it because it gives you the sense of, um, of just kind of being alone, even though they do have remote distant neighbors and people around them, there's not a lot of people that come into the museum. So it's like this extra weird spooky thing. And the whole time you're reading it, you're thinking, why aren't there more people coming to this museum? They'll have like a few visitors here and there. And so it's bizarre because they have these jobs now to run this museum, this historic museum, and it's, it's just very vacant. And there's like kind of a lonely, cold feeling throughout the book, which gets even colder and, and, and freakier when Hannah goes missing and it just kind of follows Nick's um, journey to try to find her and find out what happened, etc., etc. So I think you guys will love this. If you guys ever want to check out Bellatrice or different book clubs online, I will list the link down below. It's really fun because often they will have, oh, it's run by um, Emma Roberts and her friend, Kay Prius, and they're really, really rad. And you can interact with, sometimes they'll have the authors and they'll interact with different people. And so you'll get to meet them and, ta and talk to them because they'll do lives and you can ask questions about their books. And Ben Dolnick is a really nice person. He's an excellent writer. So I definitely think you guys should check out The Ghost Notebooks. Yeah, and if you guys do belong to a book club or you just have your own little book club with your friends or whatever, let me know down below because I'm always looking for new ones online to interact with different people and also 
just different people that if you guys maybe want to read a book with me and there's a book that you want to read with me and I happen to have it or have enough time to read it, let me know. But I would want to have like more than one person. I think that would be really cool to discuss books with you guys. So, all right, this is a long video. <laughs> have a good day. Bye.